happen because this is a really large pattern. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Sorry. Today I'm going to be doing a video about working on the wall hanging. It's going to be a real time knotting so you can see just how long each row takes. Um, that's the plan. It was requested right here, so thank you so much for requesting this video. If you guys have any requests, make sure to comment them below. And let's just hop in because this is a really large pattern. Okay guys, before we begin knotting, I realized that this string is a little short, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with a full new bobbin of this stuff. I'll be right back. Before I do that, I found this little candle and it's hanging on for the- oh, it's but what? It was just dying. Okay, well. Oh, I see the problem, it just needs to be drained. See? It's like the oil. Okay. I'm gonna go roll that bobbin. Hello everyone, um, I'm on voiceover right now. I'm going to just answer a few questions during these minutes that you guys have asked me and catch up about everything that's going on. So the first question is, what do you watch or listen to while making bracelets? Um, I have like this playlist on this app called Treble with like a bunch of music and stuff and I can just listen to any song basically I want. And I also like to watch some TV and I was watching this TV show Lost for a while but it kind of got like repetitive and died. So now I'm currently looking for new TV shows to watch. I'll also, I'll watch some YouTube occasionally, like Call Me Chris and everything. Okay, the next question is, have you ever gotten a headache while nodding? Yes, I have. And it was mostly because <clears throat> when I when I nod, I kind of don't drink water. So I kind of like don't do that. And then I get headaches. It's kind of sad. Okay, how do you get motivated to finish big projects? Well, basically, I make videos and TikToks and everything, and all of you guys' support just really motivates me to want to finish it so everyone can see it, and it just, it's really uplifting. So thank you guys. Um, how could you have the patience to make that? Well, I don't, because I keep, like, putting it off. I, like, had a month break, but I guess that's because I wanted to make other projects, too. But, I don't know, I guess wanting to see the finished product for myself and knowing that I made it would be a really good, like, it gives me patience. It's like, okay, I can finish this. Um, what is your favorite thing you've ever created? Oh my goodness, that's a hard question. Like, that's like the hardest question ever. Well, um, well, the lion wall hanging, if it's, if I finish it, it would definitely be up there. But, right now, I'm not sure. Um, oh my goodness, off the top of my head. Uh, I like the last wall hanging that I made back in September. Um, it had like the dolphins and everything I'll put a screenshot on right now. I liked making that. Um, next question is, are you making more cow bracelets and keychains? And the answer is yes. I just made this bracelet, a strawberry kind of bracelet with strawberries, and I'm gonna make like a strawberry cow to go with it. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. Okay, and then, um... The next question is, oh goodness, um, my least favorite creation. Actually, I could probably answer that. Um, there's a lot of things in that box that I've made, you know, the unfinished, the scary box. Um, there's so many things in there, but I just can't finish them. I can't do it. I just don't like them all. Um, I don't know. Let me just open that box and take a look. Oh. Well, I, oh yeah, dovetails. I don't like dovetail bracelets or what are they called i think it's dovetail i don't know um i don't remember what they're called but it's i'll put a picture up okay i don't like this pattern because i've attempted it like five times and i've never really done it right how i like so i kind of just don't like it okay um the next question is how much will you sell the lion while hanging for oh my goodness well, I've done some math and I've been recording my time making it. And so far, I think it's gonna take me like over 120 hours to make. So I'm not exactly sure, I don't know. But it would definitely be more expensive because I feel like I put a lot of time into it and it cost me a lot of money to make. It was not a cheap project. I've spent like, I don't know, 50 bucks on thread so far, $50 on thread. So definitely need to consider my time and the amount of thread that I had to purchase to make it. I think I've used 40 something skeins of white thread to make it. Um, are you on summer break yet? And it's another question. 
when does do some oblique start slash end? So I'm gonna answer those, it's like one question. Um, my summer week started on May 20th, that was my first day with no school, and then it ends on August 10th, so we go back to school super early this year, which is kind of like the worst, but it's fine. Um, yeah, we only have like 11 and a half weeks, and then like today, we only have 58 more days of, spring, of summer week, sorry. Um, the next question is, how long does it take per row? And this, this row was easier, but it had less color switches, so it took me less time, as you can see in the video. But usually the rows take me about 30 minutes each. Maybe 40 if it's like a really color switch row, but usually 30. What do you plan on doing with it when you finish it? Well, I plan on first, I'm gonna hang it on my wall and see how it looks, because that's gonna be fun. I only have like two wall hangings, so I wanna just see how it looks up there with all of them. And then I'm going to really consider if I want to sell it or if I want to, I don't know, do anything else with it, keep it. It's going to be a hard decision to make. Um, have any more large wall hangings in mind? Yes, actually. Um, there's this butterfly wall hanging. It's like blue and pink and it's pretty and I want to make that one. I'll try and insert a picture of the pattern uh, right now um, so you can see that. Um, the next question is, how do you choose colors for bracelets? See, that is like the hardest thing ever for me. Uh, choosing colors is like the hardest thing ever. I always try to kind of stick with the pattern, usually, if I like the colors of the pattern, but like, usually I don't have the colors, like I don't have that much thread, I need to get more. <laughs> but, I don't really know, I usually just look at the pattern and kind of deviate from there. Um, and the last question is, why did you decide to make this wall hanging? And I think it was me just thinking about the satisfaction of completing a larger project, as well as, like, I need to be a set apart from other creators, and, like, in order to gather more of an audience, like, more people are interested in seeing something maybe this massive being completed that just small little friendship bracelets even though they're super cool and like detailed I think that this would set me apart a little bit um because it's like so gigantic it's 168 bass strings and 195 strings long or rows long sorry guys but I don't know I thought people would be interested in seeing it as well as I was interested in seeing it being completed by me and that is it for the question. So now I'm just gonna do some like talking to catch up. Um, so far this summer, well in June, I have made I think a bracelet per day. So it's like 13th, I think I made like 12 or 13 things. So today I need to make something. I think I made 12, so today I need to make something. So it was 13. Um, really been trying to be more active on everything. So make sure to go check out the description box if you wanna see all my socials because I have like two TikTok accounts and everything. And I just bought more washi tape for packaging orders because I was like kind of running out of that kind of stuff. So that's fun. Um, I made this little list of like friendship bracelet to-do lists. So I have cow keychains on there to more answer that question. Um, but I haven't really started making them yet, but I'm definitely planning on it when I finish the strawberry cow bracelet. So then I'll make like a strawberry cow keychain if that makes sense. Um, but then I have like other things in my to-do list, like some sets, like uh, Harry Styles keychains, which I just completed this. Well, I posted them yesterday, I think. So if you wanna go check that out, my Instagram has a new post. Um, not much has been going on. Like we haven't left the house yet, but I've just been chilling, doing bracelets. I bought this new planner, hopefully, so I can like, it's a year and a half long, so it starts in July like the end of june like this month the end of the 27th i think it starts and then it goes all the way till december 2023 so hopefully that'll help me make a schedule for posting and be able to be super active and just motivated to bring content to everyone um yeah that's another way to get motivated i write it all down and just plan out the videos like i had a great video idea um i hopefully will do sometime like I don't know, it's gonna be a surprise. Hopefully I can figure that out. Um, I wanna find some great tutorials to make, so I've had a request for the beachy Aztec, so I'm definitely considering that one, even though it'd be a pretty long video. Um, in my life, personally, 
I haven't done anything at all except bracelets. Like, I haven't hung out with anyone. <laughs> I'm kind of like a hermit. It's kind of sad, but it's fine. Um, because I enjoy like working alone, being productive, and friendship bracelets and stuff. So, I think it's good. I think it's good. Um, let's see here. I posted a massive, li a massive listing on Etsy a couple days ago, last Thursday, and, um, I think we're gonna go to Elidges next month, so that'll be fun. It's like an amusement park. I haven't really ever been, so. Wow, this wall hanging is, uh, taking forever for me to make. Look at how slow I am on this. It's because I really want to tie my knots really loose, so I keep it kind of you know, different. This is also my first row of the wall hanging doing with a binder clip. Usually I taped it down um, for the rest of it, but I was like, it's long enough. I can just do this. And it's kind of kind of a pain, but uh, it's fine. Also, if someone has any better ideas for how to hook up your phone to film, please let me know because right now, whenever I tie knots, because I switch hands for knots, whenever I have to go back to the left, um, my hand hits the camera, so that's why I don't like to film it because it just, it gets really hard and you have to like, it's weird. It's hard to do. Um, let's see here. Um, I don't really have any other plans except to make maybe the mushroom cow bracelet a couple times and like maybe make a mushroom bracelet to go along with the mushroom cow. Like the strawberries are gonna go along with the strawberry cow. So that'll be cool. And then I got all these new tapes. So like I have a strawberry washi tape for like the strawberry cow. I have like a lemon washi tape for like the lemon lemon cow. Oh, is that lemon? Oh, I can't tell what that is. Is that apples or lemon? It's like yellow. Probably lemon. I don't know. Then I have like a lime washi tape. And then like a pomegranate one. That's weird. Okay, and then I have like a peach or something. And then I have watermelon, which will be great if I can find a watermelon cow to make, which would be awesome. Um Yeah, that's basically all that's going on. Um, thank you guys for asking the questions, and if you want to help me make some better videos, you can go follow my Instagram and look out for when I do polls like this, so you can have the questions that you want featured in the videos. Um, yeah, everyone, thank you so much for watching, I'll leave you to it now. So I realized that I need to find a way to make an introduction for my YouTube videos, like Alex's Innovations and Mash Knots had a little circle thing, and I don't know how to do that, so I'm trying, I'm trying to figure that out too. Okay. No, I'll leave you to it. here that was 12 minutes and 11 seconds of work of uh, nodding so that was all I was able to get done in those 12 minutes but let me know if you want to see a part two maybe when I've done a few rows so you can see a new like part of the wall hanging wall hanging sorry we are moving down towards the eyes soon in the next like 15 rows so hopefully I will continue working on this and I'll finish it by the end of summer and as always thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and all those great things that you do Make sure to check out my TikTok, where I'll be posting some more, uh, hopefully some time lapses of this, and also check out YouTube Shorts, because I'm planning on posting a YouTube Short, like, every day, every other day. So, have a wonderful day, everyone. Thanks again for watching, and thank you guys.